Hello everyone, welcome to SketchUp template creation. Uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to create a template um, in model space to work from. So I'm going to first click on SketchUp. And so that we're all on the same page, go to template and then architectural design feet and inches. I'm going to select that. And I have dialog boxes up and I'll go ahead and um, close these out just so we can kind of see how it works and where you get them from and how to arrange them. Close everything out. So in your space you might see something like this. You might have some dialog boxes up and that's fine. Um, the first thing I want to do is bring up dialog boxes though. So I want you to bring up your um, entity info first, then layers then styles, then scenes, shadows, soften edges, um, and then finally um, components. Okay, so we kind of pull these things around and we want to have them snap together so they're, they're a little bit more clean so I'm just going to drag them underneath one another so I drag la uh, layers to entity info and this is typically my structure um, then I'll have my styles then I'll have my scenes and you can click on the header to minimize these and then I'll have my um, shadow settings soften and smooth edges and then I'll put on my components Okay. So now what we want to do um, is create some styles here. And you see the first style is an architectural design style that the uh, this template came with as a default. So I'm going to make a copy of that. And I'm going to select Edit. And the first thing I'm going to create is 00, zero is going to be Quick Work. And this is going to be the style that we work in. And notice as I change these styles and change these dialogues how the image changes. And that's what these, these styles do is they affect the way the appearance of your drawing or of your model. Um, so for quick work, what I want to do is I don't need profile edges, and I don't need extensions, and I don't need endpoints. And you see how the model begins to clean up. Um, also, I'm going to go over here um, for quick work, and um, front color and back color, that's actually fine for me. I'm going to make sure that I'm on this one, and this one I believe is display in shaded mode. I'm going to go over here and sky is fine, that's cool. Um, background, that's fine too. And all that looks good. So if it erased from you, a few major changes, I'll go back up here and then I'll change it and I'll call this quick work. And then I'll hit this icon to update it and the style will be saved. So now I have two styles and you can see how they change. Okay. The next one, I'm going to just go ahead and cop make a copy. I'm going to go to Edit, and I'll make the changes this time first. Um, this one is going to be black, just a black and white line drawing. Um, so I will go here and turn off my sky. My background is going to be white. Um, and I'm going to make this um, just white. And you see that all the color disappears, so it's the black and white line drawing. Okay, I'll come back here, all on one of my edges, and I'll come up here and say zero, 00, and that's just a black <clears throat> and white line drawing. I'll update that, go back to select, and you'll see that it's been created there. I'll make a copy, and we'll do it again. This time we're going to do just shadows. Um, so I'm actually going to turn off my edges and he'll disappear. You can still see a silhouette because it's, it's the, um, the white. You can barely see it there. Um, and let me actually tilt this. You can see this a little bit better. And we're just going to do shadows this time. So everything is as it should be, but I don't need to see the model axis. I need that to disappear. And this time I'm going to go to, um, well, this actually won't matter with shadows. But we want to make sure that shadows are on. This is the image that we're kind of going for. So I'll come back up here, and I'll say zero, 00, just shadows, and I'll update that. 
I'll go back to select and I'll make a copy and this is going to be the presentation style so I'll go edit and what I want to do is keep the shadows on that's fine uh, the model axis will be off I'm going to come back here um, edges will be off but I want to have shaded with textures on I want to make sure also that my camera is um, well, this won't really matter so much for this but we'll, we'll fix that in a second we'll come back to that but for the styles um, you'll see that textures are going to be on shadows are on I like the shadow thing and then um, no model axis so come up in here and we'll just put zero zero and I'll say I'll just call this presentation all right and then I will update that go back to select and I'll just make a copy and this is gonna be the last one it's gonna be a face check and this is it's a lot this isn't really important when you render just to make sure your faces are the, the proper orientation it'll make more sense when we get to that point but face check oh well we'll have to rewrite this um, but we'll come over here and I just want to make the front color kind of a a bright green and then the back color kind of like a fuchsia color so it really pops out and we can see what we're working with um, okay and then what I want to do is have it not x-ray but render by the face and you'll see that the front color all these things have a front orientation so they're, they're, colored, they're colored green but if I go in here and select on a region and reverse the face you see that it gives me the back of the face and that's the color so that's why we do that to do a face check to make sure everything in our drawing is the proper orientation because it affects the quality of your renderings um, so I'll come here after I've done that I don't really need shadow one for that I don't think that shadow thing might not matter it might only pertain to actually when you actually create your scenes which will be next but just in case it does we'll just toggle it off um, we're gonna call this zero zero and just call this a face check okay I'm gonna go ahead and update that so now I have all my styles created that I need to use so now I'm gonna begin creating my uh, my scenes from this so okay so now that I finished creating my styles and I noticed that these things are for some reason didn't save the name so I can go back into those and I do want to make sure those names are correct and I'm just gonna call that um, face check click here update to make sure that's right go back to select presentations right um, that one is supposed to be black and white line update that select oh, this is actually supposed to be shadow okay so I got my names right presentation so I'm going to make the face check so now I want to do is create some scenes so I'm going to create a scene for this for my face check and I don't care so much about camera location and I don't care about the um, the visible layers and everything else uh, I want to have there so shadows I don't need either um, and what I want to do when you have that updated I want to go ahead and say zero zero and call it face check and then I'll update the scene and you'll see it populate on top now I'll create another scene um, I'm going to go to presentation I'm gonna call this scene presentation and uh, I'm also gonna have shadows on for this and I'm gonna make sure that my camera is in perspective and that's correct and I want to update that that'll be my presentation I want to create another scene and this is going to be my um, shadows and, and this is just 
set ofs. And it looks like this one's for some reason acting funny. So I'm going to go back here and make sure edges are turned off. Okay. I'm going to adjust shadows. And I will go ahead and then update that. All right. Come here to my black and white line work. And um, I don't need to see shadows for that. And for the black and white line work, I want to have my camera in parallel projection. And what I want to do then is, oh, is create a new style and say update. All right. And we'll keep on going. Um, it's going to be our working. And I want to come here and do that. Come here. Zero. Call it working. All well, that's going to be like that. Oh, actually working. I want to have in camera is going to be in perspective and working. And then I'll just update that again. All right. So now look at this guy. Let's kind of move this thing around a little bit. If I toggle through these, you should see the different presets that we've created. And I just like organizing this, so I'll come over here. I want my working actually to be all the way to the left. Um, I'm just right clicking to do that, and then I want my presentation. And then I want my face check and just shadows and black and white. Yeah. Let me move that to the left actually too. Just shadows, black and white. Okay. Yep, everything looks good. Okay. So that's how you want that to work out. So when we're going through the drawings and I'm working on examples and I want you to show something to me in a certain way, I'll just reference, go to the zero zero working, your pre zero zero presentation or your zero zero face check and so on and so forth. So this is how this should look. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to my purge, um, so model info, and I'm going to purge on using. You'll notice that the first one that came in disappeared because it's not referencing anything. So anything that's um, unreferenced or junk files, you'll purge your file. It's a, it's a good way of cleaning your work up. So we make we'll make sure that our drawing template is clean. Okay, I'm just pulling those down now. Now what we want to do is save this as a template so that every time we start SketchUp, this is going to pop up. So we don't have to keep on doing this. We just do it one time. So I'm going to go File, and I'm going to say Save as Template. And it's going to ask you to name it. And I'm going to say um, LDAR. And this is just my 171 template. Um, I'm going to say Save. And what that'll do is it'll save it into the system so that when you start up, every time you start up, um, SketchUp, this will be the template that comes up. This is your default template. Okay, so every time you start up SketchUp now, um, this template should pop up and appear.